Hello, my name is Tony Kaleo. I am the president of Flag Waterproofing and Restoration. We specialize in exterior restoration of high-rise buildings. Hi, my name is Jordan Ruzz. I am a professional engineer and the principal of Jordan Ruzz PE Consulting Engineers. Uh, we are a facade restoration and building repair firm located in Huntington, New York. Lido Beach Towers was a beachside hotel uh, built on the shore of the Atlantic Ocean uh, in the 1920s. Uh, it was referred to as the uh, Grand Old Lady and the Pink Lady. It was very, very popular and storied building. In the early 80s, it was converted uh, to a 184-unit condominium. And unfortunately, the facade of this building didn't re receive the attention that it deserved in the, in the conversion. They had various coatings on their building, quite a few failures, I believe over 130 leaks in 184 units. Essentially, the two choices that, that presented themselves would have been to remove the terracotta uh, walls from the facade, and we're talking about something on the order of 100,000 square feet, or find the material uh, that we could apply over the facade that would give us the, the weather resistance and the longevity uh, that we needed. The product that we selected was a Stotherm uh, Premier Next. We built it on a substrate that was constructed of uh, dense glass and metal furring. Uh, we put approximately 4 to 12 inches of foam on the building. There was a drainage system and it would work superior. When I made the decision to, to use EFIS on this project, um, Stowe, as the, you know, the leading manufacturer of the product, um, was, was really my first choice. It's the largest EFIS project I've done, and I was very uh, impressed with the, the, the ease at which we were able to make the application and the final product. We're thoroughly satisfied. The, uh, the system performed well. Um, we have virtually uh, no maintenance that we've had to do over the last few years. Uh, um, the building looks beautiful. We're being complimented regularly on it. It is certainly a flagship of our accomplishments. If I needed Stowe to jump, and there were times on this project that I needed Stowe as the manufacturer of the product to jump and provide support, I got that support and it allowed me to be a design hero, so to speak, in that I was able to support a lot of decision-making regarding colors and textures uh, with a committee that had a lot of preconceived notions about what they wanted. The support services, of course, that I, I received from the local people, as well as Atlanta, the scientific background, uh, the ability to uh, figure out the um, thermal problems and the various issues with details was tremendous. Several years after the project uh, was complete, Superstorm Sandy struck Lido Beach uh, with a vengeance. It was probably one of the hardest hit individual locations on the East Coast. The building had a 13-foot surge of water. The base of the building had been completely submerged. The EFIS performed admirably. After the water receded approximately a, a day later, you could not tell that it had been submerged. Subsequent investigation uh, proved that it really, really held up well. We could not have been more delighted.